what is up everybody welcome back to the channel it's jazz condo and here and today's video december 10th 2021 we're discussing each and everything that happened today in the house of commons regarding bill c2 with the renewed pandemic benefits as well as we're also taking a look at next week monday up until friday since next week is literally the last week that all of the members of parliament have in the house of commons to discuss bill c2 bill c3 and different key bills before their extended vacation so in today's video we're going to discuss all of that and much more we're also taking a look at the CRA's response into the CRV, the sickness benefit, as well as the caregiving benefit. So all of that and much more in today's video. But before we do, as you guys know, make sure to smash that like button right down below and also make sure to subscribe down to the channel if you have not by now. Now, without further ado, let's get into today's video. Now, as tradition, let's start off today's video by taking a look at a few media headlines by the main media sources. So the first one is from iPolitics and it mentions, as you guys can see over here, as of December 10th, 2021, that the Finance Committee to finish reviewing Bill C2 by Monday night and stay tuned and we'll take a look at the schedule for the House of Commons. Now, the second headline is from the CTV News that says that uncertain if Liberals can pass two remaining priority bills before Christmas break. And we're actually going to come back to this particular article because it has really key information that is really important to, for you guys to know going into next week, Monday. Now, taking a look at the uh, at the calendar of for the House of Commons, just so you guys guys know we're on uh, December 10th 2021 and literally we have 13th 14th 15th 16th and 17th of December left for all of the members of parliament to discuss Bill C2 and Bill C3 and some other major few bills before their extended vacation up until going back into parliament January 31st. 2022. Now, going back to the article that we just took a look at a few moments earlier, right over here it mentions the fate of Bill C2, which would create targeted support measures for sectors hardest hit by the pandemic, and a new lockdown benefit, the CWLB, seems right now particularly iffy, with only one week left for all the members of Parliament to discuss Bill C2 in the House of Commons. Now, another great thing that this article mentions is right over here, both the Conservatives and the NDP have signaled their opposition to the bill. However, the Bloc Quebecois is open to supporting it and it has laid down several conditions that must be met first. So as you guys know, for Bill C2 to pass, the Liberals, which right now are in a minority government, had to have the support of some party and that party was not the Liberals, sorry, not the Conservatives or not the NDP led by Jagmeet Singh. That party was the Bloc that voted in favor of passing uh, of passing Bill C2 and basically cutting down the CRV and extending the sickness benefit as well as the care game benefit. However, the condition that the bloc is mentioning for them to actually continue to support this bill to be passed into Senate and finally be made into a legislation is this one right over here. The bloc wants the government assur assurance that there will be direct assistance for workers in the cultural sector and extension of aid if necessary to other industries such as aerospace and an end to the clawback of the GIS supplement from seniors who claim pandemic emergency benefits. Now, before continuing analyzing the events that happened today in the House of Commons, let's hop onto our screen and let's take a look at and let's hear directly from the representative of the CRA on what they have to say around Bill C2, the Canada Recovery Benefit, the Canada Sickness Benefit, as well as the Kirgan Benefit. So let's have a listen. To, to our witnesses is, um, my understanding is that the Canada Revenue Agency uh, would be responsible for administering the new benefits that are part of Bill C-2. So could, could, could I ask you to describe in detail the cost and the, uh, the, the cost and the impact of delaying implementation of the programs in C-2? What would be the impact for Canadian businesses and what would be the impact for Canadian workers? Uh, I'd be happy to um, begin by answering that question. So. Um, I think probably as the committee is aware right now, without the legislation, um, we're in a situation now where uh, individuals on the individual side aren't able to access the, the sickness benefit anymore. It um, And uh, the same thing is true for the uh, caregiving benefit. So those, those, um, those supports obviously are are important for those individuals that that do find themselves in a situation w with the ongoing pandemic in terms of being um sick or um having a daycare that's closed or having a, a child that's sick 
or potentially at risk for COVID and uh, they're not going to be able to uh, work as a result, need to stay home. And this provides that financial support. That's not going to be available uh, until the legislation is passed. Um, I guess the, the lockdown, the new lockdown benefit obviously um, would would not be available. And then you've got the benefits on the business side. Again, um, the the um, the new period um, is not available right now. And so, in terms of benefits going forward, uh, this legislation is needed so that you can provide the support, the wage subsidy, the rent subsidy in the new forms and in that particular sector of tourism. So, you know, I, I would. Um, I'm not going to speak for the tourism and, and, and hospitality sector, but certainly that's a, an area where there's a, a continued pressure. Um, not having these funds available is it's going to create uh, challenges for them. I mean, we you know we hear that. I, I you know I, I, we are appreciative that that we're not. Uh, we're, I think people recognize the challenges of delivering these benefits and that the legislation needs to be examined. But at the same time, I. I there's a there's an impatience out there as far as delivering these benefits one thing that is certain after watching that short video or that representative asking the representative of the CRA those questions is that that particular representative was from the liberals in their attempt to push to pass the bill c2 however he definitely has a point a strong point where uh, after the CRB being cut and impacting over 1 to 1.5 million Canadians that were dependent on that particular benefit if this particular bill so bill c2 is not passed this will impact even the same amount or a greater amount of Canadians who are reliant on the sickness as well as the caregiving benefit. Now taking a look uh, at my screen, you guys can see the progress of Bill C2 and now what can we expect now going into next week. So we definitely almost are done from the finance committee, so the consideration phase right over here. And then after this phase, this Bill C2 would go into the report stage. If there's a, uh, if there's a majority agreement to pass this bill, then after it finally would go into third reading. And if passed, it would finally go into Senate. And in Senate, it would receive a, a approximately the same kind of steps that it received in the House of Commons, the first reading, the second reading, the third reading. And finally, if it all passed, and everyone and this bill received majority this bill would receive royal assent and finally be made into legislation so that was today's short video into all the events that happened december 10th 2021 in the house of commons regarding bill c2 this new bill that christopher freeland and the liberals introduced in the house of commons that right now they're trying to push and get accepted in the last week that the all the members of parliament have left in the house of commons now that was it for today's video now you guys can definitely expect a big breakdown of all the questions Question and question and answer periods that Christian Freeland had in the House of Commons this coming weekend. So definitely stay tuned for that. But that was it for today. Now, if you guys enjoyed this uh, video, make sure to smash that like button if you have not by now. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video on the tripod.